This is the Easter Sunday and uh, it's uh, really nice here to be at the city of uh, Balakot and uh, you know there are always a time for a kind of celebration and uh, it's really good to be here today. I, I just want to talk on some kind of uh, Topics like um, always trying to be encouraged, uh, no matter what you see around you, you just have to be encouraged, you don't have to be discouraged at all. So, sometimes you see in life, so many things just kind of happen, and you begin to ask yourself, uh, What's happening? and uh, what am I going to do? Because you are just uh, in the state of quadmire and uh, you're beginning to think uh, the persons that I feel that uh, should stay and encourage me, they are not with me, so what do I do? But all the same, the best person to encourage you first is yourself. You get it? If you don't, if you cannot encourage yourself, I don't think anyone out there will be ready to encourage you. Yeah, because uh, definitely you have to love yourself first before you expect other persons to love you. Because uh, the way you want other persons to love you, they may not actually love you that way. But treat yourself very well. Treat yourself rightly. And you will see results, yeah. In life, we come a lot of things. Like, let's say you go into a business and it's not uh, giving you what you want. You spend a lot of money, but it, at the same time, you're not getting what you want. What do you do? You just have to re-strategize. Come back, come back to your your table. You retreat and ask yourself. What am I doing wrong? And uh, people who have gone into this business, what thing did they do to make it right? You get it. So, uh, same thing goes to academic pursuit. Probably you're not doing well on that course. You just have to keep on trying. Yeah, you just have to keep on trying. There's no need of you trying to say you want to go back. You don't think you can do this. You don't think you can do that. No, you just have to push. Yeah push is the key uh, same thing goes to family yeah in your family you think about how you and your husband and your wife started it was so cool and it was so sweet but you're just beginning to see something else that the person you thought was your wife and your husband things are not really working out the way you, think, you thought it was going to be what do you have to do? You have to encourage yourself. Now, by the time you go out trying to tell people uh, this is what's happening, this is how you feel about your marriage, then you go out and try to talk about your husband. At the end of the day, same friends will end up trying to laugh at you, castigate you and say, look at, this is what is happening in her family, this is what is happening in her homes. So the best thing is for you to just calm down and just encourage yourself. You have to encourage yourself now. You don't have to just be so dismayed as if uh, there is no courage. You get to try and advise yourself. Try and love yourself. Self-love. Uh -uh. Take yourself out. Yeah, take yourself out, go to find places, go to places you've never been before, yeah? Enjoy yourself, sit down. <laughs> As you can see me, I'm sitting down here. The 
just have to encourage myself. I just came out here alone, so you can see me. I'm just here. I'm sitting on the field, so I just have to encourage myself as well. A lot of things happen, but I just have to. Do. I'm checking if my hand is touching something. Well, let's ask if my hand is touching something. Yeah, so encourage yourself. Yeah, in your business, your family, whatever you do, encourage yourself. Okay, don't. Uh, don't feel as if uh, the world is closing on you, you know? don't just feel like that, just always try and push on. A lot of things happens in life, people go through a lot of uh, circumstances, you just wake up and you see troubles coming around you, what do you do? You have your God, you go to your God and you just pray. Uh -uh. God in heaven will always listen to his or our children. Now, when you're encouraging yourself, you should have this self thought of positivity. Always be positive. Don't be pessimistic. Be optimistic. It will help you. Yeah. Uh, you see a hurdle and you're thinking, how are you going to do this? What are you going to do? You feel like this mountain is so big for me to climb. How can I achieve this? Who is going to help me? All you just have to do is just you just have to sit and think. And when you think it out, you see yourself excelling. Yeah. So that's just it. Uh, just want to stand up and uh, walk around. Looking for my nose mask. I see my nose mask. So. Each time in life we get to see uh, attitudes, we get to see people that tend to discourage us, we get to see people that don't love us, we get to see people that don't want us to succeed. Even at workplace, there are kind of some qualities you get to see at workplace. You don't have to be discouraged, okay? You have to encourage yourself, you have to march forward yeah let's say you are in a river this is river state anyway and we have a lot of rivers in river state and probably you are on the sea like just i have always been when i travel to Bonny island like then you will just see the boat will just kind of because we're using a local boat and probably we're moving to an lng in Bonny. You will just see the boat will just stop at the middle of the water. And you will say, hey. <laughs> I just remember one guy just said, guy, move first, go to the corner of the water. Yes. <laughs> I know they play with my life. That day I was just, in fact, if you're on that water, eh, you'll be so much afraid. You will be so much afraid. I'm telling you. But you see, over and over, the only thing I could just do was hold to faith. Yeah, I had to hold to faith and uh, encourage to myself. A lot of things have happened in life, but I had nothing to do but to encourage myself. So, those that are listening to me, I have been talking about encouragement. A lot of things that you can use in encouraging yourself by uh, reading the Bible, you pick books, and when you pick books, you read, you read and uh, try to read books that inspire you. Yes, when you read books that inspires you, you'll be encouraged. Then when you sit and read the Bible as well to encourage you, then when you go out and meet new friends and you walk out, yeah. You will be encouraged. So always try to leave the vicinity and the areas and those places that makes you feel discouraged. Yeah. Go away from those bad energy, bad vibes. You are trying to uh, do stuff and you feel that it's not working your way and you just see somebody will just be there and they telling you things that doesn't make sense. You move away from bad vibes. When you see people who always the only thing that they have to say about you is always uh, 
quarrels uh, they they don't see anything so good about you you always say you're not doing this right you're not doing that right move away from them okay try and be happy with yourself catch fun now you own your life <laughs> life is just a small I, I, I saw my dad the other day and I was like, Dad, you're getting old. He said, look at you. Don't you know uh, life is short? You get it? So my old man already knows that, that life is short. So all you just have to do is try, encourage yourself, be with uh, positive vibes, be with people that inspires you. So I don't know. I think I should start working with people that should inspire me and inspire you as well thank you very much my friends see you don't forget to click on the subscribe button thank you